Well, hello, everyone. It's great to have you. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. So I have a very special guest, Tina Glick. Tina, how are you doing? Hi, Heidi. How are you? I'm good. I'm doing great. How is your summer going, Tina? Oh, my goodness. We have had so much fun. We've been um, to Florida on our incentive trip this summer, and we're just coming off of a staycation. Um, here in Indiana, and the weather is nice and humid, and <laughs> you know, um, but we do like to travel, and it's just, um, we just thought maybe for now, because we're going to be traveling to Florida here in the, in a week or so to go to conference, um, so we were just enjoying staying here and just doing things here at home, going to the lake and that type of thing with everybody. So we we're having a great summer. Well, yeah. you and your husband, Mike, um, have a busy family life, obviously. Tell us a little bit about that, your kids and what they're up to this summer. Oh my goodness. Well, my kids, um, I have four children. The oldest is 21 and the youngest is 11. And so the oldest three were actually on vacation this past week and they ranged everywhere from Montana and Utah to Missouri for a couple of days. So um they 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 had fun. <laughs> and we just stayed home and tended our goats and worked in the garden and did all that fun things um as well. So yeah that's 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 what we've been up to the past couple of days. But you know um, lemongrass is always with me wherever I go. Um, you had mentioned to me about goal setting and, um, maybe, you know, I am probably not the best person to talk about goals, but I always am working towards something and I may not have like a big paper, um, poster up like tracking everything with paper, but I do have a goal and I've reached quite a few accomplishments with lemongrass in the last three years. And I, I, I just, it's just amazing. And every time I look, when I go to set a goal, maybe like starting in July, because our, our year is from July to June with lemongrass. So I always like to look, okay, where do I want to be next year? Um, because we have our annual conference and your your name, you reach that star sales award where they reward you for simply doing something you love and that's selling your products and helping people. So you're rewarded just for reaching certain levels um, in the company as far as volume wise. And that's it's it's easy when you do it that way so they call your name on awards night and everybody's all dressed up and um they call your name because you've reached this milestone and everybody starts clapping and cheering and celebrating you and so you get this feeling of not only accomplishment the, but you're part of something you're part of something bigger and you're not just alone selling something you're a part of a community, you're a part of um, changing people's lifestyle. And, and so that's why it's important to me when I go on vacation, I just, I just take everything um, because you'll find out lemongrass travels well. <laughs> it really does. Like I, um, so when we go, when we go to Florida, like I mentioned, I've, we've been with lemongrass for three, a little over three years. And since then we've been able to take a family vacation for two weeks to Florida um, Siesta Key every year. And so my business goes with me. Um, and when I say that, I am not super techie. I don't do a lot of things online and I don't have a phone where I store all my things. So I have a bag and I literally put everything in there. My customers like index cards with all their information and their phone numbers. And, you know, I have this bag and I take lemongrass with me in a bag. And so I can do my business on the beach or wherever. So that is like a beautiful thing about lemongrass, no matter where you're at in life, what age your kids are, if they're older like mine or young and still at home and hanging 
on your, you know, skirt tail or whatever, you can take it with you and you'll find little pockets of time that just happen to pop up. And when you're passionate about what you love, it just, it's always there. Like you always find a little bit of time to work toward your next goal. <laughs> so that's, that's how I, that's how my um, that's what motivates me is because everybody likes to earn money and you know, why not? The company rewards you for doing something you love. Well, Tina, you've been such an inspiration for so many consultants within our community because number one, you first started, you came in and we were all started learning a lot about you and, you know, in-person events, you were making a huge difference in the women's lives around you by going into their homes, you know, showing them some products, explaining to them some of the benefits. And then you came through even in that first year being named in our top 12 in sales and you've been consistently <laughs> throughout building a team and so many people to follow you tina so um you know hats off and congratulations thank on you success. <laughs> thank so you i know that you have built a reputation in your area in indiana um, for being a savvy businesswoman and also being able to help other women as well achieve their dreams and so I know you mentioned that, you know, you don't use a lot of technology for your business because you're doing other things. You are walking into women's homes. You are sending out some products in the mail, some samples and things like that. But you're constantly in tune with what your customers need. And that's what we admire so much about you, Tina, is you have given us kind of that light into your life, what you do um, to really surround yourself with women who really appreciate it. Now, recently, you mentioned to me this story <laughs> about how you were describing an event recently. So tell us a little bit about that, because I thought that was so amazing. Oh, my goodness, Heidi, I know exactly what you're talking about. Um, because um, when it happened, we just all it was it was I was just like blown away because so I'm at our um, principal retired from our local school and we, I was helping take care of that. And um, so we're at a retirement party and we are, we're just all kind of sitting around chit chatting and what, somebody asked me, so Tina, what are you doing this summer? Or what's your summer look like? And I got started with, well, my husband and I are going on a trip here in June that I earned from my company that I'm working with and what I do and and they're like well so what do you do and I'm like well I get to help people make healthy skincare choices and I teach people about armpit health and they're just like what did you just say armpit health and I'm like I sure did you know and so it was fun and everybody just they're like I didn't even know there was such a thing as armpit health and I'm like yep I do have an armpit health class and what that pertains to is just um, how to use a natural deodorant, um, why you should use a natural deodorant, and, and how ours works. Um, you know, it's aluminum free, it's paraben free. We have the paste that works super well for healthy sweaters. And, and it's just, and they were just so intrigued and they're like, wow, I want to come to that class. Let me give me more information. So that was fun. And I was just like, well, you know, you take your business everywhere. It travels well, you know? So that was a fun, that was a fun day. It really was. So Tina, when you take um, this, when someone sits and takes that class with you at an, uh, an in-home experience, give us your top tip. I mean, everybody wants to know it's the middle of summer, it's warm, it's probably humid. What's your top tip? My top tip is, well, well um, let's see, for sun, like, okay, so when I'm at somebody's house and it's super warm and I'm like, ladies, oh, we need to break out the prebiotic facial mist because it is just way too hot to be sitting here and not cooling off a little bit. So um, I, we do talk about, I love the prebiotic mist um, in the summer, especially in Northern Indiana, it's hot and humid. And, you know, after you're outside a little bit, you just feel like you're roasting. So if you keep your 
prebiotic mist, facial mist in your fridge or cooler bag or wherever you're at. And you just spritz that on your face a little bit. It just helps to kind of not only cool you off, but bring life back into your, into your body. Um, so that's, that's one thing that I really do love for summer. Um, and just all kinds of, so when I have a class, we just talk everything from practical to fun and it's just all kinds of information. So I teach people on, you know, we have that glide on stick that just goes on first. And then when you spritz it on after, if you use the spray, it creates that physical barrier. Um, and here in Indiana, we have lots of mosquitoes this summer. Like it, they're just like all over the place. And we do use a lot of our bugaboo insect repellent. Well, you're a wealth of information. And I know that you love using these products for your family as well. Yes. So going back to um, your armpit health, I'm yes. curious about a tip with that because there's people who try to transition, if you will, mm -hmm. over from a regular deodorant they might find in their local grocery store and mm -hmm. switch over to an all natural. Is there a particular application tip that you have or something that you've found to really help a lot of your friends? Actually, great question, Heidi. And I do. And for some people, that can be a process. And I will tell you, don't get discouraged. Um, first of all, um, our, our paste is, um, my favorite deodorant is the paste. And so that's the one I tend to talk to about, uh, talk about the most. But I will tell you one thing, you only need like a pea size of deodorant and that's all you need. You do not need to spread deodorant from your elbow all the way down to your side. Like that's overboard. It, you're doing nothing except irritating your skin. And so like in the hollow of your armpit is where you want your deodorant. That little gland is right there in the hollow and just go ahead and put like that pea size of deodorant on there and just keep it in that area. Um, if you do happen to um, detox. Keep some of that. Our number one product, I believe, still at this time, is the healing elements. And I always tell my people, um, put that healing elements on first and then use the paste. Like that'll protect your skin while you're detoxing. And um, for the most part, that typically works real well for everybody. Um, the thing is, just, just don't get discouraged. I mean, um, it, it'll work itself. You're just detoxing. It'll just take a little bit of time. Yeah. Yeah. Great tips, Tina, because it, it's so true. And you know, for a lot of people there, they'll decide, I think I'll wait till fall when the weather yes. cools down a little bit <laughs> and make that transition. And that right. will be the time that you want to connect with your consultant and say, Hey, remind me about that deodorant stick or that deodorant paste again, because right. I'm ready to to start that process. <laughs> that is, fall is a great time. That, that really is, is. because yep. the weather's cooler. And if you need to switch off and another tip that I, I should mention probably is, um, if you need to go like every other day, switch and on your off day, don't wear any deodorant. Don't go back to your store deodorant because you're just prolonging your agony <laughs> or the process, I should say, not agony, but um, just switch off. Like one day, use your natural deodorant. The next day, just nothing. Um, and I know that's why we're saying fall maybe would be a good time for that. So it's not quite as warm. Yep. Yep. I agree. Great tips, yep. Tina. I love that. So I know that you have a whole collection of products, obviously, that your customers have grown to love and appreciate that you offer them and helping them with skincare as well. But there's one that you always carry alongside you, and you mentioned that earlier. <laughs> that is right, our lip balms. I am totally in love with our lip balm. Like, I go nowhere. I always have one like in my pocket, in my purse, in my bag, in like my little pouch that I take to in-home experiences, everywhere I have my lip balm. Um, I think probably my, 
I don't know. You know me. I don't have any favorites. I have too many. Everything's a favorite. But Peach Bellini is probably my favorite. And then Spearmint is next. Um, but so obviously you you have all gathered. I have a husband and I have kids and they're adults to younger children and they can everybody can use our lip balm like they're great for guys they're great for women and even your kids like we have this fun grape flavor that a lot of kids like those um nine to 12 year old little girls love the grape i mean they're just all about the grape yeah. lip balm so <laughs> that is probably um the product that i use maybe the most because i'm always using my lip balm and i never go anywhere without it so i would have to say that's right now my favorite product for now <laughs> Oh, I love it. Well, Tina, this has been so much fun tonight. I really appreciate not only you sharing um, your journey and a little about how you set your goals. Congratulations on all your success. I know you are constantly tracking how well you're doing, but you know what? You have such a heart for service and that's what's made you so successful throughout your career. So congratulations. I can't wait to see you next weekend in Orlando for our conference and as we do our celebration, but also our training as well. And we reveal oh. a brand new catalog. Uh, oh, I'm super revealed stoked on that. stage on Friday. I can't <laughs> wait. <laughs> oh, I know. There's just so many fun parts coming up next and next week. And I'm just huh, so excited. <laughs> we are too, Tina. Well, thanks again, everybody. And thanks for joining us tonight. Thank you. Thanks for having me, Heidi. You're welcome. Thanks again, Tina. You're welcome. Bye.